Hello everyone, welcome to the Canadian Math Kangaroo Contest Review video for grades 3 and 4. In today's video, we will cover a few geometry problems with symmetry and reflection. Hope you enjoy them. To build a good sense for what happens to shapes after transforming them, one strategy is to tear out a small piece of scrap paper, draw the figure on it, then manipulate it in real life. For problems involving reflections, you can either draw on both sides or draw on one side with darker lines and see through the other side. Once you can readily predict how shapes look like after transformation, you can then practice drawing transformed figures by hand. This is often more convenient in a contest scenario. Let's start with a simple question. Your job is to rotate this figure by half a turn around the point F. Which result do you get? Like in all the math kangaroo contest questions, you have five options and only one is the correct answer. Pause this video and try working it out yourself. And when you're ready, keep watching to see how it's done. Here we can solve the problem by physically rotating the figure. In a contest scenario, this figure will be ready for you on the contest booklet, so you can spin that around to get the answer. Here is a copy of the figure from the question. The question said to rotate it by half a turn around point F. So let's do that. Watch this. We can then compare this result to the answer we're given. And the only match is option C, which is our final answer. Let's try a slight more difficult problem. The number four is reflected over two mirrors, one vertical and one horizontal, as shown in the picture. What will be the image in the square marked with the question mark when the number five is reflected the same way? Pause this video and try working it out yourself. And when you're ready, keep watching to see how it's done. This time, let's try drawing the transformed figures by hand, one step at a time. Let's put up a copy of the second figure from the question. The question said to reflect over the vertical mirror first. Let's draw the image of that. Then, we're supposed to reflect over the horizontal mirror next. Let's draw the image of that using our first reflection image as a reference. This final figure is what we're looking for, which we can see that matches option C, and that's our final answer. Let's do one more question. A square piece of paper is folded as shown, such that the result is a square again. In the new square, one of the corners is cut out, and then the paper is unfolded. Which of the following designs cannot be obtained this way? Pause this video and try working it out yourself. And when you're ready, keep watching to see how it's done. To solve this problem, we must first recognize that the resulting shape from this operation will be the combined image of our four copies of the notched square. This looks a lot like the mirrored image we saw in the previous questions. Let's consider figure A. We can make that by unfolding the notch squared like this. Now for figure B, we can make that by unfolding the notch squared like this. Figure C is the same as figure B, but rotated by 90 degrees. The last is figure D. It can unfold like this. It turns out figures A through D are all possible. So the answer must be then option E. Hope you all enjoyed the video and thank you so much for listening.